32 million Americans, food allergies, and new research finds more than a million of them are allergic to a seed that may not be on many people's radar. Kenneth Craig introduces us to a young girl who's allergic to sesame and why some are calling on the FDA to take action. Charlie Berry is a happy, healthy five-year-old who loves to eat. But for her mother, Aviva, mealtime is also a major worry, ever since her daughter had a severe allergic reaction on her first birthday. We had a celebratory dinner with falafel, and soon after eating it, she immediately broke out in crazy hives. It turns out Charlie is allergic to sesame, one of more than a million Americans who share the allergy. And that's more common than previously thought, according to a new study published in JAMA Network Open. Allergist Dr. Alyssa Hirsch says she's seeing an increasing number of patients. Patients with sesame seed allergy are at risk for anaphylaxis. It is severe. We recommend all patients with a true clinical history of a food allergic reaction to sesame seeds should carry epinephrine at all times. Often a hidden ingredient, sesame seeds, oils, and paste can be found in everything from bagels to hummus and condiments. But only the top eight allergens, including milk, eggs, and peanuts, are required on food labels. Right now, the law does not mandate sesame. You feel like that's, that's long overdue at this point? I think from what we see from the more recent studies that it is long overdue, it would just help so much to control the situation if you had better labeling. That's scary to think that whoever is watching her can give her a product that has sesame because they will look at that warning line thinking they're covered and they're not. You want to help me pick a plate? Aviva hopes one day her daughter will outgrow the allergy, but until then, she stays vigilant. That was Kenneth Craig reporting. It is estimated about 20 to 30 percent of children will outgrow a sesame allergy over time.